halogenation proceeds by a free radical chain mechanism involving three steps first is initiation the second is propagation and the third one is termination let's understand now with chemistry perspective first one initiation what's happening the moment free radical comes into your mind i'm sure homolytic cleavage is something that certainly comes in your mind right so look at the homolytic cleavage that is going to happen of course since chlorination i am talking about right here so halogenation right now i am making it specific i am talking about chlorination okay so we have of course cl single bond cl h new so there is homolysis so there will be this homolytic cleavage you know how to show homolytic cleavage like this each of the atoms gets one electron on its head which we call free radical so we got chlorine free radicals okay so homolytic cleavage of chlorine molecule takes place in the presence of heat or light take a look we have chlorine right cl single bond cl we have light falling on the chlorine okay and the energy is sufficient for homolytic cleavage to happen and we get chlorine free radicals now these are going to create a havoc let me tell you they will create a mess for sure right they're not going to you know stop anywhere soon but let's understand one very keen question that why is chlorine free radical and not alkyl free radical or hydrogen free radical formed in the initiation step or in the initial step right so this is the three free radical steps that we are talking about free radical mechanism may have three steps the initiation one we are starting with chlorine free radical or any of the halogen free radicals for that matter but not hydrogen free radical or we are not even starting with alkyl free radical so the reason wherever such questions are asked i'm sure this one thing that should strike your mind immediately is the bond strength that play, you know plays a major role absolutely major role check this out chlorine chlorine bond is weaker of course was it not common sense so chlorine chlorine bond is weaker than carbon 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 is one of the strongest bonds so you know that that's why the whole organic chemistry is something that you study and carbon hydrogen bonds are also so strong so it is easier to break chlorine chlorine bond rather than a carbon hydrogen or a carbon carbon bond so of course we know that why are we talking about the free radicals of halogen rather than any other right now that we have chlorine free radical formed you know there is going to be havoc so let's now see the propagation step we know that chlorine free radicals have been formed right what after that propagation so the second step towards the halogenation mechanism see what's happening we have chlorine free radical now it is capable of even this ch4 so it's going to form methyl free radical and hcl is getting formed methyl free radical reaction has been propagated you can see that there is a free radical now present and there are already chlorine free radicals present so there can be ccl bond formed and of course this is never ending process it keeps propagating so cl free radical attacks ch4 takes the reaction forward breaking the ch bond to generate methyl free radical along with hcl so though we are not able to get a meth alkyl free radical or we are not able to get hydrogen free radical in the initiation step but nevertheless we are getting it in the propagation step please check we are getting the methyl free radical right and this methyl free radical attacks the second molecule of chlorine to form ch3cl and release another chlorine free radical right so what is happening this methyl free radical cl 
सिंगल बॉन्ड सीएल रेडी टू ब्रेक ऑलवेज एज कंपेयर टू एवरीबडी एल्स राइट एंड दिस मिथाइल फ्री रेडिकल वॉन्ट्स नाउ दिस क्लोरिन सो दैट सी एच थ्री सी एल कैन बी फॉर्म एंड येट अगेन वी आर गेटिंग क्लोरिन फ्री रेडिकल अगेन राइट सो नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस मिथाइल फ्री रेडिकल फॉर्म्ड इन स्टेप वन एंड क्लोरिन फ्री रेडिकल इन स्टेप टू repeat step 1 and 2 thereby setting up a chain of reactions ch4 cl methyl free radical hcl this methyl free radical more chlorine right ch3 cl again cl free radical just like you know that one infected person can infect many other this chlorine free radical is going to react with methane produce alkyl free radical this alkyl free radical the healthiest of all also got infected can infect others and this is ever going this is like non stop kind of a thing so please understand step 1 and 2 have more focus since they produce the principal product ch3cl right there can be other species also that can be formed for example look at this ch3cl can react with chlorine free radical further to give you ch2cl with carbon as a uh, you know the carbon having a free radical on it and hcl and this can further react to give you ch2cl2 you also know that we can have chcl3 also you know that we can have ccl4 also but because we are talking about the primary product CH3Cl hence my focus was on showing you CH3Cl formation from the step 1 and 2 right but you know that there are other possible products also right right steps are also possible which may generate more highly halogenated products now of course to every evil story there has to be a termination there has to be an end so is here so let's see what is going to happen look at the two chlorine free radicals ha huh? chlorine free radicals they combine together okay ch3 ch3 free radical may combine together to give you ethane what else ch3 free radical may combine with chlorine to give you ch3 cl right look at this every to every story we are giving a giving an end we are giving a soulmate to every one of them right so that there is a happy ending organic believes in happy ending here but the reason should also be high definition crystal clear that how is this termination coming into existence so termination can be because of two reasons number one the reaction stops after some time due to consumption of reactant everything has been consumed nothing is left no more chlorine free radical can be formed what about else now everybody will manage in whatever free radicals are present because free radicals are reactive right these odd electron species are very very reactive the immediate response will be if there is any other free radical present let's just bond with them and of course because you know that there are side reactions happening i just showed you different side reactions let's take a look at them once again so there can be chlorine free radical combining with chlorine free radical to give you cl2 ch3 free radical combining with ch3 free radical to give you ethane and these are called by products okay and ch3 cl because we are talking about halogenation of alkene our product of consideration is the halo alkene that we are getting which is ch3cl and rest all are our by products so here product is formed but free radicals are consumed hence chain is terminated just like in our covid 19 case or in the case of any virus proper social distancing wearing mask and maybe the introduction of vaccine has and will terminate the virus beat any virus it should come to an end there should be an end the termination to every evil story just like here